in recent past, bank robberies, which used to be a major security issue in many parts of Lagos, witnessed a sharp reduction due to improved security strategies adopted by the immediate past administration. The establishment of the Lagos State Security Trust Fund, jointly funded by the public and private sectors, led to improved logistics and a better motivation for security personnel in the state. The present situation, however, indicates that the security situation may have witnessed a resurgence of armed hoodlums attacking motorists and commuters in Lagos gridlock. There, there was a robbery just around this side and there has been other pockets of violence in Lagos State. There has been serious robbery, even in traffic. Okada riders should be arrested. They've turned into a security threat by uh, becoming a getaway uh, operators for uh, armed robbers. The state government has strengthened the strict enforcement of traffic laws to address the gridlock issue while regulating the operations of commercial motorcyclists and street traders. This government is totally committed to the security of lives and property. We will not allow a few notorious elements in our midst to cause a breakdown in law and order. We have also, as a zone, taken measures by sending some about 60 to 70 policemen in plain clothes to assist the command in monitoring wherever we have this law. Residents of Lagos have also been advised to be more security conscious and avoid behaviors that can attract the attention of hoodlums while in traffic, such as use of mobile phones and electronic gadgets. In Lagos, Musa Tolian, NTA News.